Rob, right now it seems like a pretty typical dinner crowd inside of Salt 88, but Horvatinovich and other staff members tell me they've been getting congratulatory phone calls all day. The defendant says he's just happy the case is over with. Until the verdict, Salt 88 owner John Horvatinovich wasn't sure how this would turn out. A little surprised. The six person jury found him not guilty of a misdemeanor obstructing a government operation. Last summer, Horvatinovich tweeted a photo of two teens in his restaurant. The message attached saying, quote, these two are trying to ruin your night with sting operations in town. Salt 88 didn't serve the teens who were working undercover doing compliance checks for the Nebraska State Patrol. My argument is still that we have freedom of speech and that um, he was well within his rights to, to send this tweet out. The city argued the Salt 88 tweet deliberately ruined the compliance operation. Well, obviously it was the position of this office that the facts of this case fit into the obstruction um, statute and obviously the jury disagreed with that. Horvatinovich insisted he didn't know the teens were undercover. After the verdict, he was thankful for the hundreds of messages of support and hopeful it will result in change. I think that it will hopefully stir up some conversation on changes. Uh, I don't think the compliance check should be eliminated. One of the minors who helped with the compliance check was related to the state troopers investigating. The defense questioned whether that contributed to the citation in this case. City prosecutor Matt Cousy dismissed that, saying he saw no conflict in that arrangement. Reporting live in Northwest Omaha, Camilla Ortiz, KETV News Watch 7.